I was watching Pile of Stuff convert his old NICAD cordless drill to lithium recently when I thought I'd better grab the stuff I ordered 10 months ago and do mine. His wasn't successful because the drill had no torque and was tripping the BMS safety all the time. But what I noticed, he used the small 15 amp BMS, whereas I went with the biggest of the cheap BMSs, the 30 amp version. I didn't know if I was going to go 3S or 4S, so I bought a 4S version. I figured I'd just go 3S first and wire up the first three terminals of the 4S, and if that's not enough, I'd use all four terminals and go 4S. What I did know was I was going to go 2P and double up the ones in series. Most people directly solder nickel strips between the batteries for the higher current capacity, but I was thinking battery holders. Basically, if it was a fail or I had to individually charge each one, it'd be easy to take them in and out with a battery holder. The problem with the battery holders was that most of them had these weedy little wires and this thin coil spring for the terminal. But then I found these battery holders with thick strip terminals. And when I saw lugs out the back, I figured I could have two battery holders back to back to make it 2P. I put the battery holders back to back and soldered the six lugs. I put extra solder on them to increase the cross-sectional area and the current capacity. I then cut a short bit of nickel strip and slipped it under these two terminals and then soldered it to the two terminals. I did the same strip link here and duplicated it on the battery holder on the back. I soldered a nickel strip on here for a positive terminal and a long nickel strip that connects on the underside lug point here running up the outside to the top here which is the negative terminal. The batteries are in this configuration of positive negative. You connect your battery pack negative here and your positive here. I'm using 3S so I've got a connection straight to here. And the balancing wires go, this first black one to negative. The second one goes on the link between these two. Mine is blue, but some of these ribbons have a different color order. The third one goes on the link between these two. Mine is white, and it's under here. And for me, my third one went to the positive, which is linked across here. Mine is yellow. This is positive to the drill, and this is negative to the drill. This is the first attempt using only three batteries, basically single S3. And it works. This is the second attempt with full 3S2P. Seems strong enough now, but you can stall it. I tidied it up and put double wires on all the power connections and made them shorter and printed a 3D connector so it would be better than just some alligator clips and now it's so strong it's very hard to stall. I was thinking about making a spacer to fit between the two halves for the bigger battery and BMS but after drawing out the shape in Tinkercad and printing it out I kind of figured I might try to make the whole bottom case. It was a bit of work to draw in Tinkercad. You can see how many shapes I had to make. I was kind of trusting that it would be right the first time because it's 9.5 hours and 30 metres of filament and it would be a pain in the ass to do it again. It actually took 10.5 hours and there was two slight mistakes. One I fixed with glue and the other one I can probably live with or fix it later. Basically the posts for the screws that hold the two halves together could have been thicker. It's got way more torque than the original batteries ever had and it takes quite a bit of effort before the safety trips. 3 drill through hardwood and it doesn't stop. A quarter inch hold by hand with the full force that I can put into it. It trips the safety when it grabs, but that's not a problem because you have to stop anyway. 
when it trips you have to back off the pressure and let the drill do its cutting which is what you have to do with every drill anyway to stop it grabbing 3 8 drill These drills are worn with age and they aren't super sharp. 